Hi everyone, welcome back to Lavender. Today I want to show you how I plan and organize my life to achieve my goals and get things done. So I'll show you all the different tools that I use from my calendar to my actual planner to like my to-do list app on my phone. Before I go into the tools, I just want to share how I block out my week to create content. So generally I have Monday and Tuesdays are my shooting and editing days where I only mainly focus on shooting and editing. I don't try to take any meetings, I don't answer too many emails during those days, I don't do a lot of the admin behind the scenes work during Mondays and Tuesdays because those days I'm just me, my camera or my editing program. So Wednesdays is when I usually post and on Wednesdays I have my like posting and social media and email writing days. I, I guess it's a lot of like replying to comments and writing the social media captions and emails and things like that. And Thursdays and Fridays I generally block out for meetings with other people. So Thursday is mostly a podcast day and Friday I try to keep open to kind of finish off anything that needs to get done, especially this year since I'm doing two videos a week. I kind of need to shoot and edit a little bit on Thursdays and Fridays as well. So today is a Friday. I'm shooting it. See, my schedule's changing, but that's generally how I like to do things. I like to block things out, you know, set days or set times for just focusing on one task and then other days for like meeting with other people because I don't like to switch on and off between those two. And then weekends, I try to make space to just relax and give time to myself, go out to eat, things like that. But I do work on weekends as well. Sometimes I'll find myself like emailing and organizing and planning and prepping for shoots, which is not too intense. All right, now onto the tools that I use to plan and organize my life. So first off, I have my iCal calendar on my laptop and on my phone. I just love that it syncs together. I keep mine open at the monthly view because I like to see what I have to do in that month. You know, I like to kind of look in the two weeks that I'm in, kind of looking in advance. I like to use this as a visual content calendar to see what videos I have planned for the next month or two. So I always try to plan out my content at least like a month in advance. I also use this to see what events, meetings and podcast interviews I have coming up. So everything that's like a set appointment, I put it in my iCal so I can always see what I, what I have that day like on my phone. I also use this calendar to see what meetings, events, and podcast interviews I have coming up. So everything that's like a hard appointment, I use this calendar for. And I like that because I can just open my phone to the day and see what exact appointments I have that day. I don't usually add to-do list stuff in my calendar. I just use it for appointments and my content calendar. And real quickly, I want to share a tool that's changed my scheduling life. It's called Calendly, and this is what it looks like. Basically, it's just a tool where you could send a link to people and they could schedule a time to meet with you. So it's made my life a lot easier. I don't have to go back and forth scheduling and proposing times to like meet and talk on the phone. I just send people this link and then they could schedule like a podcast interview time with me. And once they confirm that schedule, it'll automatically show up in my iCal, which is really nice because I don't have to do much on my end. Next up, I want to share a tool that helps me plan out the details of my goals. It's called the Goal Book, and I actually have this in my 2017 Artist of Life workbook. If you have it, then you know. If you don't have it, feel free to check it out. The link is below. Basically, the Goal Book is just a tool to kind of plan out big goals, goals that need several steps to reach. So for example, one of my goals this year is to redesign the Lavendaire website. So that kind of goal is something that requires a lot of baby steps to get there. So in order to plan out something like that, I use the goal book. And how it works is you write out your goal on top, and then you write out why you want to achieve that goal. And I think it's always important to know why you want to achieve something so that it motivates and fuels you to get there. And then I set a deadline for myself. When do I want to achieve this goal by? And setting a deadline always helps me get things done because I realize if I don't set a deadline, I will just be lazy and relaxed and not work on it until I have to. After that, I brainstorm all the little action steps that I would need to reach this goal and they don't have to be in specific order. So for example, if I want to redesign the Lavender website, I would have to either search for a theme that I like to use for my blog. If I can't find a theme that I like, I might have to find a web designer and a web developer. And before I even go into that, I probably should 
decide a color palette or gather some photos for inspiration. So there are all these baby steps that I need to take to reach that goal, but they're not necessarily like I have to get them all done now. There's a sequence and there's a priority. So after I kind of like word vomit all of the to-do list items that I know I would have to do eventually, I list them out and then I star the three most important items on that list. The three highest priority or the three immediate next actions that I would have to take in order to achieve that goal. And then I would take those three immediate next step items and put them into my Wonderlist to do app so that I can do them as soon as I can. And Wonderlist is my app where it is basically like my huge to do list bucket. I've organized it into several different categories. And also I love that you can star your important tasks so that for example, if I have something I really need to do that day, I would star it and just work off that starred list. But yeah, after I knock out those tasks in Wonderlist, I check them out, I'll go back to the goal book again and then star the next three important items and then transfer them to Wonderlist again. To be honest, I'm not always that organized. I don't always use the goal book. Sometimes I have an idea and I just put it straight to Wonderlist. Whenever I'm like, oh, I should get this done, I put it into Wonderlist and I just try to organize it as best as possible. So I've shared about my calendar, my goal book, and my Wonderlist to-do app. And next up is my Muji planner. And I use this to see my life at a week. And I plan my to-dos and my focuses on a weekly basis. So basically, I would look at my Wonderlist and transfer whatever I need to. Sometimes there are things that I just know off the top of my head and I write it into my Muji planner. What I love is the right side is empty so I can use that space to take notes and I use it to kind of write down what is my focus this week, what kind of videos do I need to shoot and edit. I'm also using my Muji planner to track my habits. So this year, one of my main goals is I want to meditate daily and I want to exercise three times a week. So I've drawn in these boxes for meditating and working out. And I also have boxes on Thursdays and Fridays to write my book and work on that. So to be honest, I've been really good at meditating daily since the new year, but not so great at working out three times a week so far and not so great at working on my book every Thursday and Friday because with this new schedule I find myself working on videos and I haven't kind of gotten into the flow of this new schedule that I'm doing but the the habit tracker is there and I'm gonna keep trying this method throughout the end of the year because I do like to physically cross off like if I do a habit or if I work out today I love to cross it off physically so that helps with motivation sometimes so on a day-to-day -day basis I'm either working off of my Muji planner what I've written in those daily to do's or I'm working off my Wonderlist starred list because sometimes I don't have my planner with me and I just want to look at my phone. And other times when I really want to like focus down and simplify and not feel so overwhelmed when I look at these huge lists is I take this notepad, this physical notepad and literally just write out the three or four most important things I have to get done that day. Sometimes it feels good for me to just have a simple one notepad for what I need to do that day. And I know you guys out there might think all of this is redundant, like I write down my to-dos in every way and form possible, but this is the way that works for me because I, on the day-to-day -day basis, I like to have it simple. I like to have just like three or four things I need to knock out, but I also like the the feeling of knowing that I have everything, all my to-dos, all my goals written down somewhere, you know, so that I won't ever lose it. It's off my mind onto paper and that's what helps. And it's just like maybe the night before I'll look through my wonder list or my weekly planner and then I'll decide like what to put on my daily to-do list. So that's how I organize my life from the monthly view to my goals, to my weekly planner, to my to-do list, my huge bucket to-do list, and then my small daily to-do list. I hope this helped you guys. I hope this showed you a little insight on my life. At the end of the day, my way is my way and you might find another way that works for you. For example, bullet journaling is a popular method that probably might work for you. I haven't tried it. I don't have an interest in trying it so I'm happy with my style but do what works for you and try to find your best way to focus and prioritize and keep it simple.
don't overwhelm yourself and just have fun. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any life organization tips in the comments. I'll be sure to check them out and get inspired from you. So love you all. See you next time. Bye.